The Post-Critical Belief Scale, or the PCB Scale in short, is a model and measuring instrument to analyse the way people deal with their philosophy of life. The PCB Scale was developed by researchers at the Catholic University of Leuven's Faculty of Psychology and Educational Sciences. In collaboration with the Faculty of Theology and Religious Studies, people usually have certain assumptions through which they look at the world. Do you believe that lighting a candle when your loved one is ill can be meaningful? Do you believe that in the end all religions say the same thing about God and the world? Do you believe that religion by definition causes violence? Do you believe that there is something absolute in truth, goodness and beauty? People deal with these questions in very different ways. To examine which approach someone takes regarding life stances, we use a model that is made of two axes. The first axis measures what one believes. The second axis, how one believes. The first axis shows to which degree one accepts the existence of a transcendent reality. Is there nothing? Is there something? Is there a personal God? The second axis does not examine what one believes, but how one believes. Does one perceive truth as an objective and certain fact, or as a search for value and meaning? For literal thinkers, everything is definite and fixed. For symbolic thinkers, everything needs to be interpreted. If you want to know how someone deals with questions regarding life, then look at 1. Belief in transcendent reality and 2. Literal or symbolic thinking. The combination of these two axes results in four different cognitive belief styles. This is the model within which we can measure the PCB scale. We can find characteristics of these four belief styles in every person. The first belief style, literal belief. Literal belief assumes an immediate access to God. Biblical texts are usually read and accepted literally. What is written is the way it really is. There can only be one truth. Literal belief, a literal affirmation of contents of belief. The second belief style, external critique. External critique radically rejects the existence of God. Biblical stories are read in a literal way and are subsequently rejected. What is written does not correspond with scientific thinking or common sense. This position is very critical towards the way religions and philosophies of life tend to function. All religions are rejected without question. External critique, a literal disaffirmation of contents of belief. The third belief style, relativism. Relativism states that everything is relative. All religions are not equally true, but equally untrue, because God does not exist. Although religious symbols all have their value, in the end, one's choice remains a very individual matter. If I were born somewhere else, it probably would have been different. In relativism, one looks at other religions sympathetically, but without explicitly engaging oneself with any of them. Relativism, a symbolic disaffirmation of contents of belief. The fourth belief style, post-critical belief. According to post-critical belief, it is possible to enter into a relationship with a personal God through stories, rituals, traditions and communities. The Bible presents the story of God with human beings, is written in a particular historical context, and can only be understood and believed through interpretation. In this process, critical reasoning plays an important role beyond all criticism that can be uttered against religion one still entrusts oneself to a reality over which one ultimately does not have any control. Belief is a constant journey in which doubt sometimes wins over certainty. Post-critical belief, a symbolic affirmation of contents of belief. These are the four cognitive belief styles. Literal belief, external critique, relativism, post-critical belief. With the PCB scale, you can discover your own belief style. To analyse the Catholic identity of a school, it is important to gain insight in the cognitive belief styles of all school members. This describes and explains the current religious identity of the school, and it sheds light on the future direction in which the school can evolve. Research shows that concerning the believing styles, the most mature position is in the post-critical quadrant, right under the dividing line, 
literal symbolic. The authentic believer tries to relate to God as intensely as possible, but resists the temptation to believe literally and to grasp God. God can only be known through intangible things that will surprise us again and again, symbols, stories and people. Research also shows that the post-critical or symbolic belief style is the most fruitful for developing the Catholic identity of a school in our current society. Only people who relate to belief in a symbolic way are able to contribute to a Catholic school identity that is true to the authentic experience of faith and plausible in today's context at the same time. Do you want to know which approach you take towards religious beliefs? Would you like to discover the different belief styles of your school members? Then visit www.schoolidentity.net. Fill in the PCB scale and find out.